Staying with us, I'm Bart Vensel. And I'm Mallory Anderson. Tonight, Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers is defending his newly proposed evacuation plan. This follows months of pushback from community members calling the plan woefully inadequate. Investigative reporter Dan Beatty has been covering this evacuation plan in Colorado Springs for months. He joins us live tonight outside City Hall after hearing from city leaders on what to do right. next. Dan. Yeah, Mayor John Southers emphasized evacuation preparedness at today's highly anticipated Colorado Springs City Council meeting where they discussed the mayor's newly proposed plan. But he said people who live on the western side of Colorado Springs in these wildfire prone neighborhoods need to factor in the additional risk of living in those neighborhoods. The mayor says his new evacuation plan or proposal is the best option to reduce that risk. That plan considered by city council would form the all hazards evacuation plan, making it law for first responders to review the plan annually and would also form smaller evacuation zones using the evacuation program Zone Haven. Concerned ma members of the community say this plan doesn't do enough. The community group Westside Watch proposed an evacuation ordinance back in November. It mandates evacuation time standards, makes evacuation maps public, and requires studies for any new development. Mayor Southers fears this would discourage development and create legal concerns for the city. To stop private property owners and developers from building more affordable housing on Cresta, on the theory that it could slow me down getting out of my upscale neighborhood, then I would suggest that you be prepared to buy this private property because that may well be an unconstitutional taking. Opponents to the mayor's ordinance say they aren't anti-development. They only want the city to look more closely at how new development impacts evacuations. City Council will vote on the mayor's new proposal in the next regular city council meeting, which will be in two weeks. Reporting live in downtown Colorado Springs, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates.